So this is all we need to make the perfect carbonara. Loyalists from Rome, where carbonara originated from, would say we don't even need the garlic, all you need is the eggs, the parmesan, the guanciale or pancetta, and your spaghetti. Over the years, there's been many different variations of this dish. I'm gonna include some garlic, a little bit of black pepper as well. To run you through the ingredients, we have one whole egg and three egg yolks, 75 grams of grated Parmesan cheese, I've got 150 grams of diced or sliced pancetta, I have 200 grams of dried spaghetti, and then one clove of garlic, but all I'm gonna use this for is just to flavor our oil. I've also got a couple of pinches of black pepper. So the first thing we need to do then is mix our one whole egg and our three egg yolks in with our Parmesan cheese. Use a fork until it forms a creamy consistency. So this egg and Parmesan mixture is going to form the base of our carbonara sauce. There's no need to use any cream, you would never use cream in a traditional carbonara. Okay, once you've formed this lovely creamy sauce, just set that to a side for now. So next thing then, just gonna bring a large pan of salted water to the boil. Next step, turn a large frying pan onto a, a medium-ish heat, and we're gonna chuck a couple of good glugs of extra virgin olive oil in there, and we're just gonna crush our clove of garlic under our hands. It's still in one piece, it's just crushed, I'm going to pop that garlic into our oil. What that garlic's going to do is it's going to flavour our pan, flavour our oil. And when the garlic's browned, we're just going to discard that. All right, while the garlic's just browning off in there, take about three to four minutes, and your salted water comes to the boil. Pop your dried spaghetti in. Every few seconds, just work that pasta down until it's completely submerged in the water. All right, that garlic clove has browned off nicely, so that oil's lovely and flavoured. I'm gonna discard that piece of garlic. I'm just gonna toss our pancetta into this oil. Work that around the pan with a wooden spoon, just until this browns off. It'll only take two or three minutes. So while we're just browning off our pancetta and our spaghetti is cooking over here, just gonna go back to our sauce Mix in that black pepper as well. Okay, this next bit's very important. So when your pancetta starts to brown off nicely, turn the heat off. It's very important to make sure that this pan is not as hot as it is right now when we put our sauce in there. Okay, so when your spaghetti is cooked, ideally, it wants to be slightly al dente. Drain off the water but make sure you keep just a tiny bit of the water. I'll show you why later. So drain it off in a colander over the sink. Okay, so I've just drained the water off that spaghetti and I've kept a little bit of our cooking water to the side. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix this spaghetti in with our bacon. Get that nicely combined. Of course, like every other recipe, this has been adapted over the years, and changed, and there's loads of different variations of this recipe. Some people use onions, garlic, cream, parsley, chives I've even seen in the carbonara. But if you're gonna to stick to this traditional method, just the standard ingredients that we've used. This next part will make or break our carbonara. So using a wooden spoon and your sauce, we're gonna mix very quickly this sauce into here, now the pan has cooled slightly, okay? If it's any hotter than it is now, the eggs in here will scramble and your carbonara will be ruined. It's very important to keep your sauce moving around the pan really quickly. Okay, once you've got it quite nicely combined, a couple of splashes of this water. We don't need much. It just really helps with that sauce. Okay, fantastic, and now we're ready to serve. Okay, traditional carbonara. Make sure you top it with a bit of your sliced pancetta. 
and some grated parmesan. 